If we have a requirement to add a watermark to our sheet template, this can be easily done by using Microsoft Office within SolidWorks. So the first thing that we need to do is actually just right click in our drawing and actually edit the sheet format. Once this has been edited, we can go to our insert, object, and we can actually select Microsoft Office Word document. Once uh, we've actually added the, this particular option in, we can drag our particular area down and we'll just drag our box approximately about there. The size at this moment in time is not really relevant because we are going to adjust this to suit once we've actually inserted the watermark. Once we've got our box area, we're going to go to page layout and actually watermark and custom watermark. And we're going to select a picture watermark, although we can select a text watermark and type something in if we, re we require. Now the scale at the moment, I'm going to select auto, but we will have to come back in and adjust this. So all I'm going to do is select picture. I'm going to browse to a bitmap, although it can be any picture file, JPEG, TIFF, GIF, etc. And I'm just going to insert and apply. Okay. So this has actually added the watermark in, but although we can't see it because the picture area is actually not suitable. So we're going to adjust the sizes. So I'm going to go to page layout. First thing I want to do is just go to my size. I'm going to choose the envelope monarch, uh, which suits us slightly better. You can now begin to see my image. Again, I'm going to go to the page layout, change the orientation. I want it landscape. And also, I want to change my margins. So again, page layout, I'm going to go into the margins. This is something that you'll adjust according to your particular requirements. So I'm going to set that to be 4 centimeters from the top and 0 from the left. And we're just going to hit OK. Now, one more thing I just want to make sure of is the scale. This does sometimes actually change. So I'm going to go back into our watermark custom watermark and just check you can see that it's been changed to 401 I want to go back to auto and apply okay and we'll close that now I can adjust this anywhere I wish to okay I can position it you know wherever suits I'm just going to drop it in approximately about there that'll do fine and just click outside my document or in my document to exit Microsoft Office and then right click and just do my edit sheet to go back into the sheet itself and now when I do a file print preview you'll see that my watermark is actually in the middle of my sheet.